Good morning, welcome to the video. I am Marcella, if you're new here, hi. I am a software engineer based in LA and I like to vlog, so subscribe if you haven't already. Also, I'm so sorry if I sound a little congested, a little sniffly. I'm still getting over like, you know, the general sickness that you get around this time of year. I got that earlier this week. I had like a sore throat and a lot of congestion and now I'm just like sneezing a lot, but not COVID. I've tested a couple times and thankfully not COVID, which is good. But yeah, it's been a busy week. Actually this morning we just got back from being with my boyfriend's family. We did like an early Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is technically this coming Thursday, but they always do it like the weekend before. But it's Monday now and I've got to get back to work, so. It's a work day. I think later on in the day, I might go to the pottery studio. I might need to go, <clears throat> might need to go to Trader Joe's. I can't talk a lot. <laughs> I'm working on my own startup at the moment. I'm targeting end of January as my initial launch date, which is exciting, but there's literally so much work to be done before then. I'm working on a product that helps people find beauty products like makeup and skincare in a more efficient way. Now I'm doing a lot of work in search, trying to figure out the best way to search through a lot of the data that I've gathered. Um, it's a it's a tricky one. I don't have a lot of experience. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm doing my laundry right now, so I'll talk to you later. So what I was trying to say before my laundry machine rudely interrupted me was that I am doing search, but I'm not doing like a direct string search. Like I'm also looking for first off fuzzy matching because a lot of the transcription doesn't get brand names correctly. I'll have to fine tune the transcription to make sure I can give it like a vocabulary of brands. I think then it would maybe be better at transcribing them. In addition to that I also want to look in the text near the match what kind of skin condition or what kind of other things is it talking about is it talking about the Paula's Choice vitamin C serum being good for oily skin or is it talking about it being good for dark spots there's a few layers to this problem but that's kind of what I'm working through right now taking a quick break from work to talk about today's sponsor this video is sponsored by Flexi Spot. Flexi Spot makes my desk I really like their sanding desks the one that I have is the three stages dual motor electric sanding desk there's a lot of reasons that I I love this. Obviously it's a standing desk, so it goes up and it goes down. Sitting so bad for our bodies and I sit so much because I spend so much time at my computer. It's really important for me to alternate sitting and standing. Otherwise my knees, my back, my neck, it just does not feel good. There's quite a few reasons I love this particular desk. First of all is its look. I love how simple and sleek this one is. I have an all white version, a white top with a white base. I can memorize three heights. So if I want to set this height as like my preferred height, I hit M and one and it now memorizes. If I go to a different height and I click one, it'll automatically go to the 29.3 that I set. That makes it really easy. I just hit a button, step away. FlexiSpot is doing a Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale. Some of their stuff is up to 50% off. I'll link their site and my specific desk down below. The standing desk is just good for you. It's a great investment in your health. So 
highly recommend. Thank you to them for sponsoring this video. Everything's linked below. Go check out Flexi Spot. Look at this pomegranate. It's so big and juicy. I figured that while I'm doing this, I can chat with you guys a little bit. One thing that I've been like struggling with is eating healthy. And I think that's kind of in part due to the fact that we've been traveling a ton since the summer, basically. We've just been out of town so much and it's been a little tiring. I'm thinking of like banning travel altogether. Other than New Year's and Christmas, hopefully I can just like hunker down and not travel. I want to be at home and I want to be in a routine. But yeah, with that has come just like not eating healthy while I'm out. I don't know what it is. I try so hard. Actually, I don't know if I try so hard. I don't try enough, I don't think. I feel like that has led to me gaining a little bit of weight and I just haven't been feeling like 100, 100. I haven't been in a consistent like gym routine either because the gym in my apartment complex is so old and so gross like i don't i'll spare you all the details but like for example um i was using the squat rack which is there's so many things about the squat rack the grossest thing about it is that i was like wiping the bar before i used it and i look at the wipe and it's like yellow it's so gr like oh it's so gross <laughs> That's why I kind of turned to running. Not only is it good for my mental health, but it's a little bit more of a consistent thing. Like I'll always have the outdoors, especially here where I live. I have like all of the beach trail. So I'm trying to get more into that, but a big part of it is I know my diet. I haven't been eating right. I'm really trying to step up my game. Let me know if you want to see any like what I eat in the days for like weight loss because I am trying to lose a couple LBs. I peeled my pomegranate now. Look at how glorious it looks. I'm gonna go enjoy this and continue working. It's dark so early. I'm so sorry for the lighting. It's only like five o'clock, but currently on my way to Trader Joe's. I'm gonna pick up some stuff for dinner. Feeling like a, I think I'm gonna make like a chicken orzo or something tonight. And then I'm just gonna try to drop the stuff off, change, and like directly go to the pottery studio for a little bit. I wanna do some glazing. It's been a while since I've been in the studio. It's been a while since I got brought you guys along in the studio. Um, so I'm gonna try to film a little bit tonight at the studio. looking for my pieces that are fired. These racks have a bunch of member work that was fired in the previous week, so it's always a struggle trying to figure out where your piece is, but I found my mug and my little face situation. They look so good. I'm so excited that they made it without cracks. One thing that didn't make it without cracks is my little chip and dip. It actually cracked just while it was air drying, so it hasn't even been fired. Um, so yeah, I sadly have to toss that away. When I turned it over, yeah, you can see how bad the crack is right there. These are the pieces that I'm gonna glaze today. They've been fired once and now I'm gonna glaze them. These are all the glazes that we have to pick from as members. Before I glaze them, I put wax resist on the bottom. This melts off when it gets fired. It also prevents any glaze from being at the bottom of the pot because if there's any glaze at the bottom when it fires, um, it'll stick to the shelf that it's sitting on. You can't have any sort of glaze on the bottom of your pieces or it'll ruin the shelf. So. I'm gonna glaze these are our glaze buckets for this first one I'm just grabbing like some drops of this because this first one is butter so it's like a yellow and then the gray looking one is actually a pink and I'm gonna draw some flowers on this mug it turned out pretty cute I think we'll see how it looks when it's fired for my next one I'm trying to recreate that like black with turquoise situation so first dipping this bowl in the matte black glaze
letting that dry and then I think next step I'll be dipping it in the seafoam glaze, which is this guy. Glazing is actually so challenging. It's like only my second time glazing in the studio. So we'll see what these pieces turn out. And also do not take any of this as instruction. I am so new, but there are my four pieces. I put them on the shelf. They fire them for me, all good to go. So after the pottery studio, I got home, I got clean, and I've been craving like a homemade meal, so I decided to cook even though I was pretty tired. I'm making a one pan chicken, spinach, mushroom, orzo situation. It is so good and it's so easy. You cook up the chicken in the pan and once it's done, you remove it and you do everything else in the same pan. Also a special shout out to my gorgeous, gorgeous cast iron pan from Art Place. It's this gorgeous sage green color and it's an enameled cast iron, so I don't have to like season it or anything. And this isn't sponsored, but our place is having a sale right now up until Monday, November 28th. Everything on their site is up to 30% off. So if you've been eyeing anything of theirs, now is a time to get it. Everything is aesthetic, everything is multi-purpose. Highly recommend. I'll link that sale down below as well. dinner I basically just couch potatoed I was literally so tired thank you so much for watching though I really appreciate it um, let me know down below what kind of videos you'd like to see from me I think I'll be back on Monday um, with a what I eat in a day so be on the lookout for that but I'd love to hear your thoughts on what kind of videos you'd like to see but that's gonna be it for this one thank you again and I will see you on Monday bye